so remodels are difficult, mm -hmm. but but the cool thing about it is, is there's there's so much history behind it. Mm -hmm. Every little thing, even right down to like the little windows, the little shelves on the windows, mm -hmm. and your vision of having those shelves. And all along, you're like, if we don't like it, we'll tear it out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so. I didn't say that. <laughs> so this house, it was um, three, four, almost four decades old, and not a whole lot had been done. And when we remodeled our other house, we really didn't have the intention of coming over here and doing all of this. Just kind of morphed along the way. So because we had just been through it, I don't think we were really scared, but I think everybody's afraid of maybe making a wrong decision. Like what if you put a 13 foot, six inch bar in and you hate it? So I think probably the scariest thing was making a bad choice or I don't think you would have let us do that. Well, and I don't think we made a whole lot of bad choices. No. One of the things that we said, I think right from the get go was maximize the views, open concept, we have a big family, we've got beautiful views, let's let's do what we can with them. So I think part of this is your vision too. That was another part of this relationship. It was, it was really easy to have conversations that um, we would have back and forth and it led us to the right decisions. There was a section of the home in the hallway that we weren't going to touch and as we got into this i'm like look we can take this furnace and we can put it up there and we hit it uh -huh. and then we can take this hot water heater and we can put it over there and we can hide it i would feel bad because we'd meet and all of a sudden three hours would go by we enjoy it was a good process though. it was a good but process. there was like three hours that would go by and jared had called me and called me he's like where are you? I'm, like, I'm with the herons. And he's like, where do you think I are am? You, are you gonna come back to work? And I'm like, I'm working. We were concerned all through the process that we were gonna make mistakes. And I, I give particular credit to my wife, Natalie, because there were several times I was willing to go, ah, that's good enough. And she was like, no, it's not. It's and, good. and so we would sit and think about it for a little bit, talk to Van, talk to Jared, and come up with a plan. And, you know, at the end of the day, we got 99 point something percent of it right. Natalie had a much better sense than I did of what she wanted. I think she's more spatially oriented and she can visualize. I was kind of rubber stamping things along the way with, yeah, yeah, I like that. But uh, yeah, we didn't have a lot. We of didn't have a lot of disagreement. I think Steve and I have the same taste. I think we had the same vision of this being a great gathering place, maximizing the views. I'd say maybe the fireplace in the bedroom might have been one of the things we disagreed on, and I probably handed it over to him for the final decision. We ended up with a fireplace different and in a different space, in a different shape than I originally saw. And I think maybe that, maybe that. I was really set on what I wanted and I know that he did hand a lot over to me and I'm like, okay, you can have the floors. So that that might have been another thing But too. at the end of the day, you also agreed that it was the right decision. Uh, yeah. It's important to know that through the process, you're gonna pivot. You know, there's always gonna be a moment where even though it's what you pictured all along. It's not what you really pictured all along. <laughs> For instance, you know, one of my favorite things in this home, Jeff, is, you know, this opening here that separates, you know, this space from, you know, the kitchen dining area, there was supposed to be a, an extra column there. And it kind of like secluded this space and didn't open it up so much. And that was a last minute, hey, let's re-engineer this. Let's do a larger beam. You know, let's open this space up to the, you know, to the home better. I see so many things about the house. And I'm like, I love this house. Like this is my wife's favorite house. Well, I think you all like, ought to come over. I know we ought to.